everybody welcome to our carnival travel tips video tip number one is going to be make sure you check your bag in because if you don't check your bag in you're going to be carrying around everywhere on the elevator you're going to have to watch your bag we just have a small purse and we don't have to worry about leaving our bags anywhere or babysitting our bags and now we could eat so they're going to take your luggage to your room and you can enjoy your food and you're not like carrying everything all around the boat Yes, tip number one. Tip number two is you have to check out Guy Burger Joint because it is delicious and there's a long line, but it's well worth it. Very, very good. Okay, so we recommend the Cheers package, especially if you're gonna be drinking a lot like we are hopefully on this trip. And the Cheers package came out to $368 and you have to let them know that you're part of the Cheers package when they come around and give drinks because it looks like they're free it looks like they're complimentary but they're not they're gonna charge your your room number okay and then also if you get a drink here when you're still at the port they're gonna charge you a state tax make sure before you sell out of the port that you put your phone on airplane mode because you do not want to get charges from your cell phone company and they're gonna charge you an arm and a leg because it's way too much so make sure you put your phone on airplane mode. for your key or your sign and sell card it's going to be right next to your door and it's not going to be ready right when you get on the ship if you do get on early but it will be there eventually and also with your luggage if you choose to check it in we ended up getting an ocean view instead of an interior view because it wasn't that much more it was actually only $80 more so make sure you ask if they have any promotions or if they got anything going on as far as discounts and you could get an upgraded room for a fraction of the cost. Okay, if you guys wondering if they have a hair dryer, it's right here. It's plugged and ready to use. Mm -hmm. Okay, girls, you can bring your flat iron or your curling iron in this ship, okay? This room has a safe and you don't need to memorize a number you just need to bring your card and slide it and that's it pretty much like this and you need your key again to lock your safe trying to march to the station okay you guys when you're getting on a cruise you got to make sure you get this fun activities card this thing has everything like the first page, it has all the entertainment stuff and all the activity stuff. Like we have karaoke, we have bingo, we have a dance party, and we just have, uh, oh, the comedy club. It's just all the fun activities that you could do. It also says which deck is on and which part of the boat is, like front, medium, or all the way in the back, and times. So, yeah, don't forget to look for this as soon as you get in your room and... Don't forget to go all to, to all the activities and enjoy the activities. Yes, and you could just plan your day out with this right here. And each day they come out with a whole new one. So today's activities are right here. Tomorrow, be on the lookout for tomorrow's because they're going to have all new activities. It's uh, mainly the same stuff, but you're going to have different times and just different stuff to do. And there's uh, even uh, movies that you could watch. We have movies. We have music. the casino, music, spa, drinks, food. This thing has everything. So if you don't want to carry around this paper, you could download the Carnival Hub app. And that's going to also have everything. And you don't supposedly, you don't need to, to have a Wi-Fi plan. You could just download it and you could use the Carnival Wi-Fi. So I'm more of a paper guy. I like to look at the times. I got my watch on. So I kind of like doing it this way opposed to looking at the app and just killing my battery on my phone. 
So no gambling until you're in international water. So all the machines and tables are shut down until we get out to the international waters. If you're looking to buy something here on the cruise ship, you should probably wait till the last day because if you're on the first or second day, they're gonna, it's gonna be full price. So just wait till the last day where they have discounts and that's when you get the best deal. If you guys don't wanna spend $9 at the store for a lanyard, you could get a lanyard here at the casino for free free of charge and it's a great deal because you don't spend any money for free yeah just ask for it yes all you have to do is go to the cashier ask for it and they'll give you one i want to talk about the drink package so the drink package it's a good deal if you're gonna drink 15 drinks a day it equals out to four dollars per mixed drink mixed drink by itself is like ten dollars so if you do it with the cheers package i'm gonna put the drinks on the side so you can see how much each drink is. But uh, it works out to $4 per drink, that's with tip included. If you wanna tip them, when they bring you the receipt, you can tip them some more, but that's with tip included. It's definitely worth it if you guys plan to have a great time and you guys like to drink and you guys are gonna drink more than let's say five drinks a day, it's definitely worth it. You guys see if it's worth getting the drink package or the cheers package. One more thing is after each drink, you have to wait five minutes. So if you're a fast drinker, you have to wait anyways five minutes to get your next drink. So one thing about this cruise is you are never gonna starve. They have a lot of food, big variety, whatever you want. You just pick it, go up, put it on your plate, Find a seat, that's probably the hardest part of the whole eating process is finding a seat. Once you find a seat, it's all she broke. This next one is an adult's tip because there is jacuzzis that are for kids and adults, but there's some that are adults only. So look out for the adults only if you just wanna be hanging out with the adults and drinking. In our case, there is nobody here in the jacuzzi. <laughs> We're lucky tonight. Yes. We got two adult jacuzzis, only ones right here. If you guys are interested in working out while you're here at Carnival Cruise, they have a nice gym and they even have an outdoor track where you could walk around. Okay guys, if you're wondering about irons you cannot bring irons on board so they do have laundry mats and they provide irons ironing boards and there's also washers over here on this side they got washers and dryers over here on this side and they also have laundry detergent over here on this side depending on your port of call ours was not south the bahamas um, they're going to ask you to bring your sale and sign card, which is your room key. And they're also going to ask you to bring a government issued ID. So I'm from California. I brought my California ID and we were able to get off the boat and jump back on the boat with our California ID and our room key. I left my passports inside the safe where they should be. And I made a copy of them before I came on my trip. And I just carried that in my pocket with us just in case. But that is our next tip. Make sure you guys pack your formal wear because there's gonna be a fancy dinner night. Depending on how many days your cruise is, is depending on how many nights there's gonna be. Ours is a three night cruise. We only get one dinner night, but there's cruises that are seven days and they usually have two dinner nights. So the formal dining night is a nice place where you could get dressed. They have a dress, dress code is strictly enforced. So you can't wear no tank tops or flip flops or any of that good stuff. So you have to be formal dressed to actually enter and get a table. Anything on the menu is included, nothing extra unless otherwise stated. In our case, it says $20 extra and there's a list of stuff that we cannot pick from unless we want to pay for them. Other than that, you can order as many appetizers as you want or as many as dishes as you want because they're really small. So you're really hungry, you're, you can order maybe two. Look how cool it is. We got to watch a movie right here on the deck. They had popcorn, they had drinks, and it was a great time. Yes, it is. 
before I leave you guys with the last tip, I want to say thanks for watching. And if you have any tips to add on, please add them in the comment box below. And the last tip is just pretty much walk around the boat. Just get familiar with it. We found all kinds of stuff just from walking around. And then ask the crew questions. If you don't know where something's at or if you see somebody walking around with coffee and you're like, hey, where's that coffee spot at? Just ask. That's all it is. Just ask. Hit that like, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys on the next video.